Now then, are your children or grandchildren brighter than everyone else's, full of clever and original ideas? Of course they are. So why not put them to work as inventors and retire on the proceeds? Now that is a bright idea. Here are some more. Is resident inventor in residence at the Science Museum, Mark Jamkins. There's a new time for you there, resident inventor in residence. I just invented that one. Now it's not just likes of scientists. We've got you got here a book of your book, the big book of celebrity, celebrity. inventions. So celebrities have invented things as well. Yeah, it's a strange thing. People like. Michael Jackson, Marlon Brando, Jamie Lee Curtis have all taken time out of acting and dancing and doing what they do to invent things. What did Marlon, things. Marlon Brando invent? Marlon Brando apparently was a really big bongo drum enthusiast <laughs> and he figured out a way to tune bongo drums using an electrical device and he spent about two years patenting it and he actually would have made quite a lot of money out of it if, had he lived a little longer. And Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson, you know where he does that 45 degree lean thing? Yes. Now that's a trick. He's actually designed a really clever pair of shoes and they hook into the stage and enable him to do that kind of lean thing and then he comes back and then he disengages out and then dances off. So he patented that. It's we really didn't smart. know that, did we? That's yeah. wonderful. Amazing. Show us some of your own, because, I mean, you were on Dragon's Den and succeeded. I was, <laughs> yeah, I was. It was quite nerve-wracking, but, yeah, I managed to get some money. What, oh, well, that's good, getting money out of that lot. I'm intrigued. We have here a board. Got, we've got yeah. some young inventors are going to meet him. Now, we've got these... If I touch it, it'll go funny. Won't it? These yep. are balanced. How they... So I, this oh. is... The, the... <laughs> Oh, these you see are... what I mean? I told you it was tricky. So when I'm at the Science Museum, I try and invent things that use scientific principles and intriguing kind of things. And this is levitating cutlery, which is... I've kind of done to have Harry Potter-style dinner parties. Yeah. And it floats, so it uses magnets, opposing magnets, to levitate. And got it, got it's it. just a bit of fun, but it gets you thinking about, you know, how stuff works. Another example of using magnets how, in an unconventional kind of way is... This is a chopping board that yeah. I've done. And this strip here is magnetised. It's all other... wood, but that's so a different colour bit And then there's just a few magnets underneath. Yeah. When you're chopping, it holds the end of the knife down so you can chop faster. Yeah. And then if you're mixing, it holds the mixing bowl down so it doesn't topple over. Look at that, you can mix it. This is perfect right. for television. I can show you what I'm cooking. Isn't that wonderful? Go. And then when you're finished with it, yeah. you can pop it up against the side and use it as a knife rack so it sticks your knives to it, like so. Well, oh, very well. Yeah. Yeah. All sorts of things here. All right? sorts of things. We've yeah. got time. I like the, the, the ruler, guys and girls, that you can hold up in school when you're asked for a vote. You can hold up yes, or you can hold up no. So you're going to have to put your hand up once. So that's not a good school vote. So we've got also, I think we ought to find out some of their inventions, yes, don't you? Yes, let's now, Sam and Ben here. Now, Sam, what have you got there? You've got two, Tell us about this. You've got two brooms. Pass them together, and you've, you're the youngest person at five, you're five years old, to ever get a patent, and you got it for these. What do they do? How do you...? Yeah. Um, they're two brushes put together, yeah. and it's more efficient for when you're brushing up. Well, cos then it makes sure everything comes up. So you've got a, a hard one and a soft one, and most people have to go out with a hard one first and then a soft one, don't they? So you're doing two jobs at once? Yeah. So who gave you the idea for this, then? When did you decide you needed it? Well, it was when I was young. Yeah. And my dad. <laughs> yeah, well, I know. We all were once. Yeah. When you were young, you were five, yeah. And you noticed what? And I was. Um, my dad was brushing up. Yeah. And I asked him um, why he'd brushed up twice. Yeah. And he said that was because he had to get all the pieces he'd missed the first time. And you said, Dad, if you put two brushes together, you wouldn't have to do it twice. That's what they call being sharp and being clever, <laughs> as well as being very young. Now then, let's have a look. Ben, you've got what there? Because you're his brother. Um, you come in. A plug. A plug. Yeah. Well, it looks like a little cup to me. <laughs> what does it do? Um, so, like, you put it in. In the, in the sink? Yeah. yeah. So, um, even though um, plugs have already been invented, yeah. it's more easier to get it out. What, do you tie a bit of string on that, then? or no. what, what do you do, then? You just put it on like that. Yeah. And then, so you just flick it. Boing. Boing. And it gets up. <laughs> you know, it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> well done, you. Now, anybody can invent them, Mark, and anybody can get a patent if it's... Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And it's great to get started early. It's great to keep questioning your dad, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that twice? I've got a better idea. Yeah. Two brooms. Well, now, time to meet the Young European Inventors of the Year from Cyprus School Inventors Club, Milan, Daisy, Jessica and Sinead. <laughs>
Now, yeah. then, tell me, Daisy, what is this? You've invented this. Well, tell me about your inventors club first in the school. Well, it's called um, well, um, it's called Bites, and yeah. it's called being in, and it stands for being inventive through education. Yeah. And it's um, led by uh, Bill Curry. Yeah. And it's and it's got like 810 members. In Heavens it. above! Um, <laughs> why do you enjoy doing this, Jessica? I mean, why do you like inventing? Because it's fun, especially when you're with your friends. And yeah. You could just put all your ideas together. And something better comes out. We can make something bigger than birds. Milan, why do you like doing it? Um, because it just. Do you, f do you feel you're creating something out yeah. of all these ideas and something something permanent? So, tell me about this. What, what is it? Well, it's an emergency health band. Yeah. Um, so, when you've just been discharged from hospital, yeah. they will, the nurse or doctor will fit it onto your arm. So, so it goes onto your yeah, wrist. wrist yeah. 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 So, it's, say, if you're at home and you have a heart attack and you can't reach the phone, you press the button. Press the button. And it will alert to the nearest hospital to you and the, uh, and the ambulance will come quickly yeah. Yeah. and they'll come and get you. Wonderful. Now, shall we confess to them what happened in rehearsal? But Uncle Alan broke the other end of it. <laughs> <laughs> and he felt incredibly embarrassed. And I said, it's all right, when we do it, we'll hide the end. So we're hiding it, and it does work. So it's a... I've just broke the other end of it. <laughs> you see, it's not fair. Look, don't let me loose anywhere near these days. I mean, this is... You've got to, <laughs> you've got to be careful when you handle these. Stay I'm coming away from out of the way. Stuff, I'm you. coming out of the way. Let's just look at a couple more of yours, and I'm very intrigued by this, this Mark. Tell me what so this is. this is in the Science Museum. There's a gramophone. I walk yeah. past every morning, and it amplifies the sound of a needle on a record, which is quite a quiet sound. And I thought, how could you apply that now? So what I've done is made this, which amplifies your phone or your MP3 player. So you slide so that you in So you slide there. that in. If you're playing some music, you slide yeah. that in there, and it amplifies it just using the trumpet sound, <laughs> which, you know, it's quite a smart, low price point, and it's something that's at the Science Museum and I've designed from. Wonderful. So if anybody's got an idea, and you'll obviously encourage them to do it, I mean, yeah. they go ahead, try and get a patent or Try what? and get a patent. But what I would say is, first of all, try out your idea, test it, refine it, get it to that point where you know it's good and yeah. people like it and you get some good feedback. And then you can either design register it yeah. or patent it. And one thing is certain, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's much easier not to break two brooms because, as everybody knows, two heads are better than one. <laughs> Sorry, For more information on joining an Adventist club, go to the website, my thanks, to Mark Champkins, to Sam and Benjamin, Milan, Daisy, Jessica and Shanae, and I'll mend it later. Well done. <laughs> oh, dear. Still to come this Wednesday afternoon, former royal correspondent and much else besides Nicholas Owen, David Beckham's seen the musical 11 times, and today the cast of Jersey Boys are here in the studio. And pop star, classical star, Bikini Babe, and now a charity ambassador. The magnificent Mylene Class is here too. We'll see you in a minute. Well done.